to know that I can impact hundreds of girls' lives to be independent and thoughtful thinkers and citizens of the world is incredibly rewarding. I'm doing my mission. I'm doing what I'm called to do. As far as methodologies, I have a ton of unique ideas in order to get the girls excited about the music. One in which if there's a difficult song, I'll have them improvise and dance to the lyrics to figure out how the difficult melody goes. One evening my dryer decided to completely go nuts and all of a sudden it's got this nice rhythm and I'm going you know what I could sing along to this to get the girls to remember the song the storm is passing over hallelujah 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 I even bring into the classroom what I've done with my own performances. So for example, I was Ariel in The Little Mermaid last summer up in San Francisco, and I played the motif of a song to demonstrate to the girls Ariel wanting to get out of the water and onto the land. <laughs> And that's just a prime example as to how music theory evolves organically within the classroom. To be able to experience and have an aesthetic experience that you can give to other people, especially those in need, is crucial. One way in which I get the girls to do that here is to go to the Alzheimer's home, sing Christmas carols to them, and music from their generation in order to help bring back memory. I collaborate with the girls to choose the music together. Who really inspires you? Who's really had an important impact on your life? And one girl mentioned her grandmother and she started to cry and she said, Miss Willits, can we please sing one of Frank Sinatra's songs in honor of my grandmother at the spring concert? And I said, absolutely. And that's what you have to do. You have to invite them into the process of what you're doing. Instead of hiring professional musicians to come in and conduct choirs and to accompany the girls on the piano, I let them do that. I put that work into their hands because what's a better way to learn something than to do it yourself? Delving into issues like social justice, I've done things where I've had the girls close their eyes, listen to the song, write about what they think, and then I'll put a music video up or a visual to go along with the song and then we will juxtapose the effect of preconceived notions versus creating your own opinion about a topic. The greatest challenge that I experience is the environment in which we are teaching in here is extremely academic and competitive because they come into the music room with their laptops and they're doing homework. And my job as an instructor is to communicate the language of music to them, to get them to enjoy where they're at and to learn to live in the present. And we are going to Carnegie Hall next spring. Our choir's been selected to perform. We are beyond excited. The most proud moment happens each and every day after rehearsal with students leaving with the biggest smile on their face.